Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Morrison Blues. Good morning. We await the arrival of Tropical Storm Elsa, which was a Hurricane One down in Florida. Reason why I always give you guys a weather update is because the weather depends on what I do for the day. Can I do something outside? Can I do something inside? How hot is it gonna be? Do I even wanna be out here? You know what I mean? Anyway, welcome to part five of my Toro Repower LX460 lawn tractor. I had two episodes of putting the engine together to put onto this uh, carcass, right? And uh, it's taken four episodes for me to figure out that I think the transmission is... So because I think the transmission's Dunsky, instead of me waiting and waiting and waiting and then just parking this in the back and let it rot away for years, uh, waiting for a replacement transmission, which is actually kind of easy to find because it's the same transmission that MTDs had for their CVT variable speed transmissions from like the late 90s, you know? So they've used the same transmission for years. Um, don't know if it'll all fit exactly with the linkages because they defer a little bit. But I figured, you know what? I don't think in my 1300 plus videos in the past four years of my channel, have I ever tried to fix a transmission because that's not my thing. I'm out of my element when it comes to that, right? But there's always a first time. Shout out to Tom Shrek for donating $20 to the channel. Really appreciate the support, Tom. If you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Shout out to Jared Campbell from Beaver Creek, Ohio, and also Tim Polcat from Hamburg, New Jersey for buying some stickers. Thanks for supporting the channel. Keeps the videos coming almost every day. If I don't sell any stickers, fellas, I'm not doing five videos a week. So they finally did come and sweep the streets. And so now I can get my cars out of the driveway, but no rush because <laughs> I'm not exactly ready to test drive this thing on the street yet. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so I figured, you know what? Let's drop this transmission and take it apart and try to see what's broken. Maybe it's just a small strip gear that I could just buy, you know, for like 20 bucks or something. And that'll save me the trouble of waiting for another transmission to turn up for free. So I might have to spend some money on it, but I figured this tractor is in pretty good shape, especially after we've taken care of all the situations uh, on it, as well as Having an engine on it, that's pretty much the stock engine that came off of this thing. Um, having it run so well, you know what I mean? Surprisingly, <laughs> after all, it is a Henry rebuild engine. <laughs> you never really have too much confidence when you're not an expert or a mechanic to rebuild an engine and it works just fine, you know? So um, I'm gonna take both wheels off now that we have it in the air. I might have to put some jacks on there because this looks a little precarious, wouldn't you say? It also gives me a chance to actually use my jack stands for a change. That feels pretty good. I'm pretty confident that this won't fall on me. And even if it does fall on me, it's only like 200 pounds? this area ready for the transmission. It was actually very easy to remove. 
It's only two bolts here, half inch, two bolts here that attaches to each side of the left and right frame. And then there was a uh, brake rod cable, uh, brake rod that connected to this spring for the brakes. And then there was a pin, R clip, that you remove to disengage the linkage to the forward and reverse and neutral shifter. Really easy to remove. Uh, I watched a couple of videos of other guys doing this, and it seems like this shaft here just sits on the two gears, and the top cover just comes off with it. So I don't think I have to remove the, uh, the pulley, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna keep it on here. I'm gonna try to blow this crap off a little bit, um, and then remove, I think, six or eight, uh, what looks like three eighths or 10 millimeter bolts. Shouldn't be too tough. So I had one mishap, one bolt broke, but still came off. Yuck! Like I said, this thing is just mounted on here, the pulley, see? And that gear just rests right on there. So here we go. This is the inside of it. I didn't even have to pry. Look at this packed grease over here. It's actually in pretty good shape. Grease looks good. So, uh... I'm just going to look this over a little bit. Uh, this is called a fork, uh, something or other. So detent in here. I think this fork thing just comes out. Like that. You know what? I should get like something to put this on, right? Let me get confused. Anyway, look that over a little bit. I'm going to slowly take it apart. So I've got this thing here. I'll just put that there. It's clean. Fork shifter, I guess, right? It's the brake. Rotor moves freely. I believe I can just lift this out. Or maybe I should remove. I don't know, it comes right out. So the rotor comes off off a spline just like that got a bushing or flange plastic comes off like that got a washer or shim comes off like that this I believe is the forward gear comes right off like that and if you look at it, it's rounded off on one side. The uh, right side of that, the right side of this, right side of that, but the back part is good. The middle uh, shift something or other they call it. And this matches right there like that. And so it slips like that.
This is the reverse one. And the reverse one looks good, see? That's it. That's all there is to it. Looks like it's pretty easy to install, too. I'm just going to try to install it by myself without doing anything yet. Huh, see? So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna use the reverse gear in place of the forward gear because it uses the other side when you reverse it. And the other side is good. You following what I'm saying? It only is worn out on one side of it. But when you reverse it, you're using the other side of it for that gear. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's a ticket. I'll reverse everything. Put the forward gear, flip it, put it there so it uses the other side of it for it to do what it needs to do. And then the reverse gear is in good shape and it'll be using the other side of it. That's what I'll try. So there we go. Uh, I had to look for this little ball bearing there. Can I see that ball bearing? A ball bearing sits on a spring inside. I just put the gears back in. Here's the shift fork. And the shift fork sits right on top of that ball bearing. Thing is, I've got this bolt that's sticking out like that. I'm thinking I should try to extract that, right? And replace the bolt. So I'm gonna try to do that. So I've got an idea. Um, I'm gonna take these two um, 7 sixteenths nuts. I'm going to screw them both in and try to back it out. Um, I've tried it before and it seems to work. So let's see if we can do it here. So I'm going to take this 7 sixteenths and this, just put it on. And put another one on there. Actually, I might have to find another one that fits. This one doesn't really fit. So now I'm going to grab the bottom one and turn it. And it's turning off with it. That's no good. I'll tighten it more. It's not working. I wonder why that's not working. It usually works. Uh-huh. Look at what we got here. It's turning. The entire uh, bolt is turning. Looks like I've been successful in extracting a broken bolt. It only works if you have some sticking out so that you have enough room to put, um, you know, two more nuts on there. If you if you're just like you have a little stub or something, you're not gonna be able to do this. So I was lucky. So I'll just find a replacement bolt, and then we'll be golden. And I'm just gonna put this together, and it, it was easy enough to remove. You know what I mean? So I'll put it together and put it back on the tractor again. It wasn't too tough. We'll try it, and then if it doesn't work, then I'll just order. I think one of these is good, like the reverse one's perfect. So I just need the middle part in one of the forward gears. And that ought to be all right.
So there we go. I got it all back together again. Didn't take very long at all. And it seems to work just fine. I didn't do anything with the grease because the grease looked good, you know? I've seen videos where the grease was like water. This one uh, was actually packed really well. Uh, as you can see, I have a screw to replace the other one. Everything's torqued down. I think I put it on right. Now the challenge is how to put this back all together on the tractor again. It's the first time I'm doing it, so it's kind of a challenge. But I'm just going to crawl into there and figure it out, you know? Okay, we took apart the transmission, reversed the gears, <laughs> didn't pay any money yet, just reversed the gears. I put the hood back on as you saw because I, I thought I was going to just park it in the backyard, you know. So let's see if this moves forward uh, and reverse. What do you guys think? Think that worked? It was the first time I've ever taken apart transmission and put it back together again. Let's see. forward and reverse uh, it's a little sensitive right now you know I think if I drive it around slosh the grease around build some heat so that the grease kind of covers more area it'll be smoother you know but how about it man taking the transmission apart reversing the gears so that you're utilizing the sides that are not worn out get it so that's exactly what I did Put it back together again really wasn't all that tough you know what i mean kind of a pain in the ass you have to just put it upright where you hold it with your one hand and try to 
put the belt around the pulley so that you have space to get the screws into the holes. Plus there's a spacer on each side. That was a little tricky, but then the linkage as well as the brake rod pin, put the wheels back on. And there you go. Uh, I smell a little rubber. So like I said, that double stack pulley in the front, I don't think that's the same pulley. And, uh, but I think if we just run it a little bit, maybe I'll drive around the block or something like that. And, uh, see if it kind of smooths out a little bit. Uh, if not, uh, we'll go take a test drive. And if it's still bad or something like that, I might have to think about ordering two gears, you know, the middle shift apart and the forward gear. But I think it's okay. It's not slipping or anything. It's just a little tight right now because the grease is probably not where it's supposed to be, you know? And I didn't add any more grease, you know? So I think if we just move it around a little bit, it might warm up, slosh into the areas that need it, you know? Uh, so next episode, we're gonna put the, well, we'll go for a test drive first. If all is good, we'll put the deck back on and then do some stuff like the lights and take the seat uh, up. I don't like that gray duct tape on there. And uh, just button things up, you know, maybe get a uh, front muffler heat shield to cover that because it looks kind of ghetto, you know? I know I have a few heat shields I can modify to make it fit on the front. But how about that, huh? My first transmission fix. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Next, next time on mowers and blowers <laughs> hey if you guys enjoyed the video remember to give me a like also comment below subscribe remember it doesn't cost anything to subscribe it's free right also hit that little bell that way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them remember to follow my instagram and facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.